What's, What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, we're picking up a new artist for the channel. Oh, yes. This is Japanese singer songwriter Kana Nishino. And uh, we've heard from a bunch of people that we should check this, check this artist out. Yes. And apparently, She's been on the scene for a very long time, is incredibly popular, but took a very extended break. And this is her first song back after four, four years. years. Yeah. So massive comeback of a very popular singer. The song is Eyes On You, and we're gonna check it out. Here we go. We are now accepting priority music requests through our Buy Me A Coffee program. You can find the link in the description below. Send us a music prompt and we will get to it right away. Thank, Thank you. you. I am yours and you are mine. Mm. てるだけじゃやだ愛まいな言葉だからこの手離さないで約束をして Mm. Wow. I love her beautiful angelic voice. Yes. Uh, it seems that she has, um, she started off fairly deep, mm -hmm. but she's got quite a range. Right. Um, we don't know the extent of it. This is our first ever time seeing her, but um, her voice is very pleasant, even in a, in a deep not not deep but deeper than some of the anyway i don't know what i'm saying she's she's got a pleasant <laughs> sounding voice it was relatively deep and then she got way up into some high My notes range, yeah. and it sounded really good there too um i was a little bit confused when we saw the second outfit mm -hmm. Cause it looked like maybe it was a different girl, but then but I it's realized her. it's not, it's still her. Yeah. She just did her hair different. Um, mm -hmm. And she looks so young. She, she, she yes. looks so good. According to Google, she's 35 years old, but she, she is so I beautiful. Guess 16. I don't know. 18. Oh, that's a great compliment. <laughs> I, you know, because us Asian, you know, we are always have that, you know, youthful look. You can't tell what our yeah. age are. And also the the video here is so like very wholesome so far and yeah. magical. Sort of a, a gentle magical yes. feel to it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what they what she's going for, I think, is this um fantasy setting mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Here we go. I'll never let you go. Mm. 
She has such a good high range of her vocal too. Right. Um, that last set of verses mm -hmm. reminded me that she started this whole thing in English. Right. Um, but which I, I had forgotten. I love the English Japanese. Yeah. Um, she's, she's switching kind of back and forth with just a tiny bit of English, mm -hmm. a lot of Japanese, but, um, I feel like, Anytime she's in English, she's in her deeper voice. Right. So far. I yeah. mean, in this video, every time she's sung in English, it was deep. And then as she rises up into her range, it switches to Japanese and she's she's like an ethereal fairy princess. She does. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and I think that's what we're meant to see, actually, is her as a a mythical being, a, yeah. a, a princess, a fairy. A I love the colorful. Because um, the, that CGI field mm -hmm. of flowers that she was smaller than. Yeah. Right? Like, so that's beautiful. <laughs> pretty well done. Mm -hmm. um, Great and production. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool setting. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Here All we right. go. Even in the moon, the stars and the clouds, look at that. So just magical. Yeah. Love is frail. Like flowers, they're fragile. Yep. Mmm, so pretty. Mesmerizing. Wow. Interesting. That was so cool. In that in that last shot, I, or I guess anytime she was in that setting mm -hmm. and in that outfit. I was looking at her ears trying to see i think maybe she had made her ears look like they were a little bit pointed like an elf oh, or a even, fairy or something like that i didn't even I uh, could be wrong but there was something maybe some flowers that maybe they yeah some stuff that they definitely had. playing heavily into this uh like mythological mm -hmm. um being mm -hmm. i don't know what kind of being she wants and to also, be but, yeah. You know, she was talking about, you know, it's just not enough. I love you. And right. saying something, you know, love is so. The words aren't enough, enough for, her. for her. She wants a deeper, deeper expression. Yeah. yeah. And also, it's like love is frail, love is fragile, something like that. Like a flower. Well, like a flower. Yeah. It's good. It's a great way to, you know, to um, have that sim symbolism. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like a strong comeback. I mm -hmm. wonder wonder why she chose to have a four year break. Um, Maybe something. Because she seems very talented. Maybe she was burned out. Maybe she just needed some time. I or don't know. maybe because during if he had a, she had a four year break, maybe because of COVID or maybe I guess something in the family. Well, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Well, thank you again for turning into our channel. Don't forget to give you love and support to Kana Nushinu. Her link will be in our description below. Thank you for your love and your support to our channel. And if you want to hear more of her, send us the link. Uh, what's your favorite song? Uh, we'll be gladly to, you know, do some reactions. Thank you for loving our channel, liking our videos to get the algorithm going. Share with your friends and family. Thank you for subscribing to our small, mighty channel to help us grow. Thank you again and see, see you the, the next video. video.